Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about vitamin B12 test report. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is an important vitamin that is responsible for brain health, blood cell production, and nerve functioning. There are several ways to check your vitamin B12 levels. It can be done either by blood test or urine test. These tests will help us to check the levels of overall vitamin B12, homocysteine, MMA, and holotc. MMA and holotc may give us more accurate results as they represent active B12. Now let us see when your doctor may ask for a vitamin B12 test. The doctor may ask for a vitamin B12 test if he have any signs or symptoms of its deficiency. These symptoms mainly include tingling in hands and feet, loss of appetite, dementia, weakness, fatigue. You may also need this test if you have anemia, as anemia refers to low number of RBCs. This mainly happens when your intestine cannot absorb vitamin B12 properly. Symptoms of this condition may include diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, loss of appetite, and pale color of skin. Sometimes when you have high serum folate levels, you may also need this test. Now let us see who may need to take this test. Our body does not produce vitamin B12 naturally. It mainly comes from the food items or dairy products. People who are at risk of vitamin B12 deficiency are older people, younger children, people who have diabetes, people who have had gastric bypass surgery, and people who are strict vegetarian. Some medications may also alter the levels of vitamin B12, so it's important for you to talk to your doctor about all the medicines that you are taking. Now let us see how is this test done. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then sent to the lab. The results usually come in a day or two depending on the lab. So, are there any side effects of the test? There are almost no side effects to the test, but make sure the area is well cleaned and the needle is sterilized. So, how can you prepare for this test? If you're taking this test, you may need to fast for 6 to 8 hours, that is, you may need to refrain from eating for 6 to 8 hours before the test. But make sure you remain well hydrated before the test. It is also recommended to take this test early in the morning. Now let's talk about the results and the report. The results of vitamin B12 are based on picogram per milliliter. If in the report the value is anything between 200 to 600 picograms per milliliter, it is considered normal. If the value is anything below 150 picograms per milliliter, it is considered low. And if the value is anything above 800 picograms per milliliter, it is considered high. Now let us see what do low levels or high levels may indicate. Low levels of vitamin B12 may indicate hyperthyroidism, internal parasite and anemia. High levels of B12 may indicate cancer, liver disease, kidney failure and diabetes. If you have high levels or low levels of vitamin B12, it's important for you to talk to your doctor before starting any supplements or before stopping any supplements. It's equally important to get your test done from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.